Barry Allen. I am the fastest man alive. Hello everybody, how are we all doing? I hope we're having a good week so far. Today is Wednesday the 26th of November, which can only mean one thing. It's Thanksgiving tomorrow, so uh, happy Thanksgiving for everybody over in the States and anybody that is celebrating or giving thanks. Um, so and be careful because Black Friday, please just be sensible, okay? If you are going to go out and shop, just be really sensible, okay? However, if you decide to stay at home and shop, even better. <laughs> but seriously, do please be sensible, okay? Um, yeah, there's no need to start killing people just to grab a bargain, all right? If you miss it, there's always next year. It's that simple. Anyway, moving swiftly on. We're here to review last night's uh, episode of Flash, episode seven, titled Power Outage. Um, now, this was quite an interesting episode uh, for a number of reasons, uh, but the main one was all about how Barry, um, you know, what what causes him or what makes him the Flash. Um, is it the fact that he's distracted by, you know, the people he's he's saving, or is he spurred on by the people he's saving? And uh, we see how Dr. Harrison Wells, um, sort of like, you know, some point towards the beginning of the episode how he's talking to his um, artificial intelligence uh, Gideon who's voiced by Marena Baccarin by the way uh, who's also going to be Dr. Leslie Thompson and um, Tompkins in uh, Gotham later on uh, in the first season so that, that's going to be interesting um, that uh, it's been 311 days since um, you know the the accident uh, with Barry and Wells just feels like Barry isn't really fulfilling his full potential. Um, we still don't know how much or what Harrison knows about Barry's future. Um, now remember obviously at the pilot, at the end of the pilot, we saw the um, newspaper um, for April 2024 saying how Flash vanishes uh, in crisis. Um, and I do firmly believe that this alludes to crisis on infinite Earths. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, look it up. You'll see what I'm referring to um, without without spoiling too much, obviously. Um, so, yeah, that, that's what Harrison's worried about. That as far as he's concerned, Barry's not really fulfilling his full potential. Now, don't forget, he's just been given these gifts. Well, I say he's been given it. He's had it for almost 10 months now. Um, but he hasn't really push the actual boundaries you know he's not no we don't know what his limits are um as yet on the show anyway we know what his limits are in, in the comic book so <laughs> they're almost limitless um especially when he has the ability to travel in through through time but um yeah in, on the show he hasn't really realized what what his limits are now the villain in this episode um we go back 10 months to obviously the uh the accident with the uh, particle accelerator at Star Labs going off, and uh, we've got this one chap who's um, busy, you know, showing off to his friends on a um, in, in a power grid, a power station up on uh, what one of the um, one, one one of the towers. And um, as the explosion comes towards them, you know, his two friends go into their car, and he gets electrocuted. Um, and that's pretty much how his power comes about that he has the ability to drain electricity um, and Barry finds this out the hard way himself uh, um, because as the episode is titled power outage he literally sucks pa Barry's powers out of him so Barry can't run anymore and there was one moment where um, when he was getting a taxi back to Star Labs he actually said you know I had to tell the cab driver that, um, you know, I was coming from a cosplay party. I thought that was a pretty nice touch. It was pretty, pretty cool. Um, Joe obviously isn't happy. Well, I say he's not happy. He's um, slightly upset and disappointed that uh, Barry doesn't have his powers. Um, on the flip side, this is where it gets interesting. On the flip side, we have a guest villain. Um, and it's none other than the Clock King himself, William Topman. So he's arrived... From Arrow, he's now in the Flash. This is—I love these crossovers. I mean, we've already had Felicity, 
We've now got um, Topman in there as well, obviously Oliver in the, in, in the pilot episode. So it's good that we're having all these characters going back and forth between these two shows, which is really good. Shows how seamless that they are. They, 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 they're moving everybody through, through these two shows. Um, so moving swiftly on. Uh, so as, as I said, the, uh, so yeah, so it becomes a double jeopardy, basically. Uh, you've got William Topman at uh, the, uh, Central City Police Department, uh, police precinct. Um, he's holding everybody hostage there uh, because obviously our friend who has the ability to uh, drain power, Cisco Nick's name him uh, Blackout, although that's at the very end of the episode he realizes he's he, you know the nickname. Uh, so we'll call him Blackout for the for the purpose of this episode for the purpose of this review. And um, so he's now at Star Labs and he wants to have a chat with Professor or Dr. Harrison Wells. Um, I was quite I, I was laughing at um, Topman's demands, by the way, the Clock King's demands uh, regarding the hostage situation. One of them included a laptop with 8 gig of RAM. Come on, dude, you can do better than that. Seriously, 8 gig, what are you going to run? <laughs> you know, if you're going to run something powerful, you know, heavy, you need more than 8 gigs. So, yeah. Um, we find out the lengths that Harrison Wells is willing to go to protect Barry. So much so that he actually goes down to their makeshift prison and releases one of the villains down there. I'm not gonna say who, and I'm not even gonna say a code name either because it will give away who it was. Um, and yes, if you heard the past tense, it's because something tragic does happen to this particular character. Whether or not Harrison knew the outcome is another matter altogether. Um, but yeah, because of that, Barry lashes out at Harrison. He is not happy. He believes that Harrison has no regard for other people. He's very selfish and he thinks about himself. Um, you know, and earlier on in the episode, you know, um, Barry and Harrison were both talking and how Har Harrison says he wants to change the world, talking about, you know, curing diseases, this, that and the other, and helping humanity as best as possible. But then later on, as I say, because of what happened to this other character, Barry realises that he was just, you know, just saying things for the sake of it and that he didn't mean anything that, that he was saying earlier on. Um, back at the precinct, um, Eddie Thorne, along with Joe West and Iris West, all, all work together to go up against the Clock King. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't kind of end well for Eddie, but he does come out okay in the end. Um, there, was a, there was a heavy DC Comics moment in this episode where um, Harrison Wells listed out a lot of names of characters or people rather that um, died in um, during the uh, particle accelerator blowout. Um, obviously one of them being Ronnie Raymond that we already know about and the other one, uh, the, the one that really stood out for me was none other than Ralph Dibney. Okay, again I'm not going to say too much about him but if you know who I'm talking about um, you'll know exactly um, what I'm what I'm referring to. So um, yeah, so, but I I geeked out as soon as I heard Ralph's name. Now other characters were mentioned. I don't know a lot about them, but I will put a link at the bottom if I don't forget that is um, about the other characters that were that were mentioned in the episode as well. Um, eventually, Barry does get his powers back, but it's not in a way that we um, actually would expect. Um, but let's just say that um, how he he does get the, the way that the way that they do it is quite interesting um, in terms of you know getting getting him to get his powers back. Um, but it's how he ignites. I'll use that word. Ignites his powers is what really then makes us realise that, as I said at the beginning, is it the fact that he is spurred on by the people he has saved, or is he distracted by the people he is saving? And the, the episode, towards the end of the episode, you see exactly how that affects Barry and his powers and his abilities. So much so that um, Harrison is really happy with the results. And when he goes back to, um, to Gideon, because I forgot to mention that when, he, when Barry lost his powers, Harrison goes to speak to Gideon. Gideon shows him the paper for um, 2024, nothing mentioned about the Flash. And that's when Harry Harrison loses his call, cool, loses it completely, thinking this is not right. I've got to secure Barry's future. And he even says a similar thing to Cisco 
And I'm thinking, does Cisco know what the truth is about Harrison Wells? Does he know what's going on? But we, who knows? We don't know. Anyway, so next week, obviously, no flash. Uh, sorry, no arrow, rather, tonight. It's, it's on a break, clearly, because I think because of uh, Thanksgiving tomorrow. But it, it's on a break this week. So next week, the full blown crossover. Tuesday night, Flash versus Arrow. Wednesday night, the brave and the bold. I cannot wait. So I'll put the new trailer as well. Link that one below so you can all check that out as well. Looking forward to it. Can't wait to see what happens. It's going to be good. Just a quick announcement as well to mention. Um, it was stated earlier today that there's a possibility that the Supergirl TV series that's going to be developed uh, by Greg Belanti and uh, Ali Adler um, for 2015 that's going to be airing on CBS could well cross over with The Flash and Arrow, which isn't a bad thing and it's not surprising because CBS is owned by Warners who also own CW. That's all I'm saying. So if that's going to happen, oh my God, can you imagine a triple crossover between all three characters? That would be sweet. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all very much for watching. Speak to you all very soon. Bye.